Hi students, in this session let us try to understand about uh, current symmetry, voltage symmetry, current symmetry in the sense mirror symmetry, folding symmetry means without using star delta conversion. How to find if the network is symmetric, how to find equivalent resistance is nothing but special cases of finding equivalent resistance. Okay, for example, if I have a bridge. Because let me explain about folding symmetry and all from a simple bridge. Okay. For example, between A and B, I would like to find the equivalent resistance. For example, each and every resistance is R. Each and every resistance is R. Now, in between, if I have one resistance of some value, some value. Now, what do we say? The bridge is balanced. Vision bridge okay so the bridge is balanced p by q equal to r by s so the bridge is balanced so we can remove this branch okay so stay tuned stay tuned for example i can remove this branch then equivalent resistance across a b is going to be r and r connected in series r and r connected in series 2 r 2 r connected in parallel 2 r 2 r connected in parallel equivalent resistance is going to be r that's it but point to be noted here is Basically, should I, what do you say, across this, should I open circuit or should I short circuit matters? Because, for example, if I have this, if I have this, okay, so by, what do you say, balanced bridge, balanced bridge uh, property, so means directly I can say that no current will flow through this, no current will flow through this. Now, no current is flowing through anything, means that it's equal to open circuit. We can do open circuit or we can do short circuit also because some current is not flowing through resistance, right? So current is not flowing through the resistance means that voltage across this should be zero. Okay. So when voltage across this is zero, then only current flowing through resistance will be zero. So when the voltage across this and this is zero means that same voltage same equipotential points, equipotential points means the short circuit. So you can either do open circuit or short circuit okay so if you do open circuit and short circuit both the things has to give the same result same result now let us try to understand it for example this voltage is v1 this voltage is also v1 because equipotential points because it is short circuit because it is short circuit why no current is flowing through resistance means that voltage across that resistance should be zero so, if you think of V1 here, V1 here, for example, this resistance is A, this resistance is B, okay. So, what can be done? A to 1, V1, two resistors are connected and V1 to B, two resistors are connected. So, two resistors are connected in parallel because this is, this is short circuited. Two resistors are connected in parallel, R by 2. Two resistors are connected in parallel, R by 2. R by 2 plus R by 2 is going to be R. That is also fine. Okay, so when you have balanced bridge that is symmetric, the basics of symmetric we are going. Okay, so I can directly do short circuit or I can do open circuit also. So I, even if I do open circuit or short circuit, answer will be same. Answer will be same. For example, for example, this is called as this is called as folding symmetry. Folding symmetry because whatever the way we explain v1 v1 is called as folding symmetry because whatever the characteristic here or whatever may be the property or elements connected here, same elements are connected here. So I can flip this. I can flip this. Means that it is called as folding symmetry. Folding symmetry means that nodal voltage should be maintained okay so that is folding symmetry for example what is mirror symmetry in the sense current symmetry so for example let me solve the same let me solve the same with without taking this v1 without taking this v1 this is a only this b only of course okay so now this is a and this is b now for example here maybe at the center resistance is there Okay, now means mirror symmetry means that current symmetry, current symmetry means that means across A and B, see here across A and B if I do this, if I do this that is called as mirror symmetry or current symmetry. For example, entering current is I. So if entering means if I connect of course a voltage source or something. Okay, so entering current is I. Ultimately leaving current should be I only, no? Leaving current should be I only, no? Under that condition, so entering current is I. So here, for example, I1 current is leaving. 
for example i2 current is limiting of course i1 and i2 will be same that is i by 2 that's a different story okay so i1 is leaving here i2 is leaving here the moment these two are symmetric across the terminals current symmetry across the terminals okay so without terminals it is going to be folding symmetry voltages okay so for example entering current is i leaving current should be i the moment these two are symmetric these two are symmetric means ultimately if current entering is i leaving current is i and this particular resistance is taking current i1 this particular resistance should take current i1 only and this resistance is taking current of i2 this resistance should take current of i2 only i2 only okay such that out of total current i i1 is leaving here i2 is leaving here out of leaving current of i i1 should come here i2 should come here okay now if you see i1 is entering here i1 has to leave here so no current will flow through this no current will flow through this that is called as open circuit okay means that means current symmetry or else we can say mirror symmetry okay so point here is very simple point here is very simple if i do short circuit of this and this short circuit because no current will flow short circuit of this and this means that that is going to be folding symmetry in folding symmetry voltage just you what you have to do you have to keep voltages at the nodes that's it okay now if you think of current symmetry across the terminals across the terminals you have to think of current symmetry in current symmetry few branches can be eliminated few branches can be eliminated why because current leaving through this is i1 the moment it is symmetric across the terminals i'm sorry <coughs> yeah the moment uh, it is actually across the terminals it is symmetric means that whatever will be the current here current should here whatever will be the current here current should be here whatever will be the current here current should be here means that at the center branch can be removed removed that is called as current symmetry our kind of uh, what do you say let us take this problem okay current symmetry or mirror symmetry mirror symmetry should be across the terminals okay except the terminals if you see that is going to be folding symmetry folding symmetry voltages okay voltages nodes means just node numbers has to be given okay now let us think of this problem in this problem what they have of course this is a yes problem only in this problem all resistance in the circuit in figure are figure r of r ohms each the switch is initially open what uh, happens to the lamps intensity when the switch is closed it is simple see here means all resistances are r only all resistances are r only so this is r this is r this is r this is r okay now at starting this is having the value of resistance r at starting now after that the switch is going to be closed the switch is closed in the sense across these two it is going to be shorted across these two is going to be shorted now even when you have resistance r also there will be no current flowing okay so even if you short circuit this or even if you open circuit this or even if you keep some other external resistance no current will flow because voltage across this and this will be same so even if you close the uh, what is the switch or even if you open the switch means voltage across everything will not change so lamp intensity will remain same getting my point right because it is actually balanced bridge okay so the moment it's a balanced bridge even if you short circuit or even if you open circuit open circuit or even if you keep any value of resistance there will be no variation at all with respect to the equivalent resistance across these two the moment equivalent resistance is same automatically lamp intensity will be same so increases decreases remain same will be the right answer